His Story Presents, The Real Life Story of Beauty and the Beast Everyone knows the animated Disney story of Beauty and the Beast. However, the modern version of the classic tale, written by French novelist Gabrielle Cézanne Barbant de Villeneuve in 1740 and made famous by the 1991 Disney film, may actually be based on a real man and his family. The story behind Beauty and the Beast is embodied in the tragic life of Petrus Gonsalves and his astonishingly beautiful wife Catherine. He was born in 1537 in Tenerife with a rare condition known as hypertrichosis, commonly referred to as Weyerwolf syndrome. At just 10 years old, Gonsalves was given as a gift to the new king of France, Henri II. He would stay there for more than 40 years, under the protection of the king and his wife. Catherine de' Medici de Valois. Henry II died in 1559 following a jousting injury, and his widow, Catherine de' Medici, eventually became regent. Catherine de' Medici decided that Petrus should marry, to see if more wildmen could be produced. She chose as his wife another woman called Catherine, whose last name is unknown. Catherine supposedly did not see her groom and wasn't aware who her future husband would be until the actual wedding ceremony. Petrus is believed to have been in his mid-twenties at the time. The couple, unexpectedly for the queen, fell in love and settled into a happy and caring relationship. They had their first two children soon after marrying and both were born healthy. The queen was openly disappointed about this fact. Her wish did come true eventually. Their next four children were all born with hypertrichosis. Catherine and Petrus toured Europe with their hairy offspring, and were a source of extreme fascination for nobles. Paintings of the Gonsalves family, informal wear designed to contrast their wild appearance, were often given as gifts in high society. The Gonsalveses settled for a time in Parma, Italy, under the financial care of Duke Ranuccio Farnese. Catherine is believed to have passed away in 1623, after approximately 40 years of marriage. Petrus is thought to have died in 1618. The location of Catherine and Petrus' graves is unknown, but their memory lives on in multiple portraits of the unconventional couple. Paintings of Petrus and the rest of the Gonsalves family can still be found in Embers Castle's Chamber of Art and Curiosities, a collection of oddities created by Ferdinand II. Archduke of Austria in the 16th century.